What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Jay Buck with some more real stories for you. Today we've got a box and we're about to jump inside. So there's a box of stuff here. You might have seen a couple baits already when they fell, but we're gonna get in and take a look at some of these baits. Some new baits, some additional color baits, some dupe baits, just a bunch of good baits. All right, let's just get in and I'll shut up. First up, we've got the simple pack. Gotta re-up on my Okashira screw heads. You know that I talk about these all the time. Let me pull this out got this eighth ounce in two different colors spawn kill which is the all white head pull this baby out come here the all white head you can see a nice detail in this baby one of my favorite baits of all time see the screw head there nice little bait keeper here probably one of my favorite bait keepers of all time on a bait it's just a phenomenal bait. You can get this with or without the screw. I prefer the screw. Eighth ounce, three out hook, or I'll go with the 16th ounce. And then I got this other pack right here, Melon IU. So it shows a little more green on the head online, but it's basically a straight up shad color. They're all of them are they offer is pretty much shad colors, but they're great baits. I haven't ran into the four uh, the quarter ounce or the three eighths yet. You probably could find those somewhere, but I've never used those. So let me know if you use something like that. But these screw heads are nuts. Favorite favorite trailer, three inches. Speed shads, the, the little swammer. And all sorts of baits are great with that thing. So give it a try. Money bait. All right, let's move those for later. Later. Let's run in with these. We got a pair. I, I, I always, for some reason, get baits in... Du duplicates or twos just because I mean you lose one gotta have a backup all right the River Sea Rover one of my favorite all-time topwater walking baits I had to get this one of my favorite colors for River to Sea is that T1000 this is a heavy bait about three-quarter ounce ounce it's a nice little bait I really like it there's all sorts of stick bait walking baits like this on the market but this one is amazing. I just really like the River to Sea. Their hardware is good. See, you got the EWGs on the back there. Look like twos. And then you've got a round bend. It looks like a four on the front so it doesn't snag your line. Nice feather on the back. They actually do a good job. Wish they used a little more clear coat than that. But that's, that's splitting hairs there. It does very well nice trebles and then the color is great it's got a black finish with some black speckles into a clear tr translucent but I mean it's got some reflective in it too into the, the red mouth and then the green belly it's just a great bluegill representation and it gets big guys I really like that slow that deep rattle it just look just just amazing put that one aside get off of me sticky trebs and then I got this other color, new color. What is this? Yeah, that ghost minnow. Definitely looks a lot more red on Tackle Warehouse, but it still looks sexy. I think that is a killer looking bait. All right, let's run over here. There's so much in here. We're gonna talk about this Six Sense Crush. I only got one, because I've got a ton of square bills, ton of cranks, but I needed to get my pop into this Six Sense. He doesn't know. He's all about them KVDs, and we need to get them about these. I mean, KVD's good, but this Sixth Sense is just butter. Oop, don't know where I'm showing it. There we go. Look at that money bay, baby. Got this chartreuse. It's just sweet. Just, I mean, got the best hardware and a crank for the price. Got the EWG. Got a nice split ring. I like the 
the oval split ring on the lip. That's killer. Great chartreuse. Great chartreuse crank right here. Nice little rattle. And just Six Sense makes some, they're pretty much custom cranks. And I love them, guys. Killer bait. Doesn't run that deep either, so it's you can keep it up above the grass for all you bank fishermen out there. All right, all right, let's move over as well. Had to pick up another mag draft. It's the freestyle again, had to get another color. This one seems to be one of their top sellers. This is like white back shad. Yeah, I think so. But this is their freestyle again. Let's get these, get it out of there. Just a beautiful looking color. It's gonna do great. I've been hearing I wanna slow roll this. It's just a crushing bait, guys. I haven't caught a fish on it yet. I've only fished it a few times, but I wanted to get another one. Slit in the belly, so, so you can run that big beast hook through. Nice little slit in the top so you can hide it. And then just a lot of meat in this bait. Pair this up with some mend it, and you're going to have a good time. Can't wait to catch a fish on this. The freestyle, oh, just, just beautiful, beautiful bait. A lot of ways you can run this. I would consider enjoying this on a giant underspin that would be wicked all right all right mag draft second one let's try it out give me some tips on how you've been catching them with this bait because i want to get in love with it i want to love it another bait god there's a lot of baits uh, river to sea baby back again Got to re-up, got to get a double. My dad wanted this one. More than I'll open this different color. It's the Little Baby Plopper 75. My two favorite Whopper Plopper size guys, 75 and the 110. If you don't know what to throw, just grab one of each and then go to work. But I had this <laughs> perch one, I had this out of pick it back up. I had it for quite a while and then I threw it in the river, lost it. And then I chased it down for like 15 minutes and then, you know, didn't hook up with it, so she's gone. Didn't even catch a fish on it, just gone. But great little bait, excellent plop in action. The hooks are good. I'd probably upgrade them if I'm gonna be in a tournament situation. But let me tell you one thing about this bait. You see, you might not be able to see it, there's like a little cup in there, a little lip, and a little extra piece of material, whatever you wanna call it, right in front of this tail. Now, that really helps keep the debris out of this bait. You see how it's like a cup fit? It's kind of like, you can see down in there, it's like a cone shape, so it really fills this gap just perfectly. I've noticed the 75 has this, the 110, I think the 130. Uh, I'm not sure about the gigantic one. That one might not, but I know for sure the 90 does not have it, and that has a little, I mean, it's a flatter profile, a little longer profile, but you definitely catch a lot more weeds in that bait. Don't get me wrong, you still catch a bunch of fish on it. The the, the sound's not as big. It's, it's just a more finesse version, even though it's a little longer. But anyway, take keep an eye on this. If if you're looking for the best design, the most refined design, stay away from the 90. It's it's not one of my favorites. I have a bunch, but that's one of the reasons why I've stepped out of the 90 and really stick to this. It's they really upgraded them, made them better. So. Not many people notice that. And then I got the other one, T1000. This is a dupe color. Great. I wanted my dad to get on that. He's really in love with that bait. All right, what do we got now? Stick with River to Sea. Got their small bubber walker. Had to expand. I told you I had that ghost minnow in the, the rover. Now we got it in the small bubble walker. This looks beautiful, guys. I am very impressed. Better look at that. Look at the head. It's a lot of flash in that head. And then it's got a clear with that gizzard shad look. With that little pink lateral line and then the nice brown on the back. This is just a great, I'm really impressed. Nice rattle. This one's a cheaper base, about 10 bucks. Compared to, you know how I love that Pop Mega Mass Pop Max. That is an awesome bait. But this is definitely right on, knocking on the door, right on its backbone, saying, throw me 
because I'll save you some cash and I'll catch you some bass. Bubble Walker, the small one. Now you can get the Gigano one. Now, if you're catching some big muskie, if you're going some big bait, big fish uh, catching, muskie, big pike, some giant bass, get that. But you're going to need to step up your gear, a big topwater rod, big deep crank rod, because that is a beefy. I mean, that topwater is probably about that long. No joke. Definitely over an ounce. Sticking with some walking baits, let's talk about this Dog X from Mega Bass, the Diamante. Picked up this color, a little clear bait, with the color the name they call them this thing. Uh, Ghost Pro Clear IU. Looks great. It's, a very, it's definitely a natural presentation out there. It's got a clear, it's got some nice detail, looks like, like, a, like a little grassy on the back, green into a brown, and then a little bit of red on the gills. Really nice bait. This bait's a little more expensive, 20 bucks, but it's a really good walking bait compared to, say, that rover. I know it's just different. It's, I mean, we, everyone talks about throwing something different, and you're going to pay for actions. And I just like Mega Bass baits, so don't. <laughs> I like I like them, even though they're expensive, but you got to have different presentations. You see how that rover is a little bit bigger, and that knock is a lot deeper. And you say the Mega Bass is a lot lighter. So I'm something different. Both phenomenal baits. Great color. I'm gonna show you this other color that's cash. Let's get this out of the way. This is the one that I've been searching for. Wild gill. This thing is juicy looking. Come out of the box. Just one of my favorite colors by Mega Bass. That wild gill is just gnarly. Like all the baits in this color. Jeez, just kind of just gawk at this baby. Definitely love the, the gill flare that they put in these things, the eyes. The eyes tend to fall off if you're not careful, but still, end of the day, these look like saltwater hooks. Um, I'll probably upgrade those if I'm going after some big fish, if I'm need, needing to absolutely make sure every fish that I hook comes into the bag. I'm gonna have to upgrade those hooks and those split rings because they're they're finesse. I mean, people give Mega Bass some crap about that, and I'll I'll throw my hat into the ring too and say, "Come on!" But if you know what you're doing, they are finesse hooks. You can bring a lot of fish in, so just don't don't overwork them. But yeah, they aren't the best. Now, when I'm talking about the best, remember six cents and your cranks, the best. All right, let's play. We had to do it. Uh, let's talk about these. We lean over here. Had, whoop. had to expand the horizons with that bellow gill. Now I know where to keep my mind, and now I can expand my colors. I had to just get to all the sizes. This is the small size, that 2.8, and then that was this 5.8 giant gun bow. Let's call it the small one because I know you want to see the big one. I'm impressed. This is like their sunburn gill or something, burn gill, some sort of gill. Can't read it because it's not in English. But it's just a finesse version of that. Bellows gill, guys. It's. I think I'm going to be in love with this when I throw it on that spinning gear. It's got more of a green pumpkin baby bass on one side and a little more of a gill on one the other side. It's a really nice crossover bait, clear water bait. I like that meat in the head. Great, gonna be a great trailer, gonna be great little, uh, I don't know, weightless bait, Texas rig it, all sorts of different ways, free rig it, drop shot it. I saw somebody Ned rigging it, that's gonna be killer, try that. Just a great little thing, they got some stank on them, so be careful, because it stanks. Now let's, let's open this one, I'm excited to throw. This one, got it in, what is it, gill candy or candy gill? The big one. This thing is about as big as my hand. A little bit smaller, but this thing is big. You're definitely gonna wanna throw a big old, what, a six, seven eye beast hook. This thing is beefy, guys. This thing has got some weight to it. I'd, I probably should weigh it up, because that feels, definitely, it feels over a half ounce for sure. But it's definitely got some meat. This is, gonna do some work for you guys now if you got big gill 
you're definitely going to be limiting some of the fish you're going to be trying to target with this but just tie her on i mean just go big fish catching one day tie on a big swim bait that you haven't used and then tie this on and see what happens i mean if nothing happens try it again try it somewhere else i mean some of these baits you got to put in the effort to catch that fish and i can't tell you enough let me get this out and compare them just so you can see that size difference i don't have the mid size with me but there's one that slots right in the middle so we got big daddy baby junior and then there's right in the middle standard size that's just right for most people but look at the size difference from big daddy to baby baby Pfft, crush it just throw, have, have buddy someone throwing this and then somebody throwing this right up around the docks man you're gonna have yourself a party fast all right get this back in the bag and let's move on to some more baits All right, now all right, all right, all right. Let's stick with that. All right, so back with some more G Crag or G Crag. Expanded with the bellow stick. Got the small one. They were pretty much out of stock. I did not. I did not. I was watching them for weeks, and then they went out of stock, and then I finally decided to buy some. So silly on my part, but we got this tiny thing. Tackle Warehouse expanded with, expanded with this tiny version of the Bellows stick. It's stick worm that's got a ton of ribs, guys. They're coming over to the U.S. They got a, a crawl that's got all this feature. And I just showed you that gill version. But this is a little 3.8. It's going to be great little wacky rig bait, great little drop shot bait. And then you can step up into their more standard 5.8, basically like a 5-inch Sanko, 6-inch Sanko. This is nice. I'm really, really impressed. Got a nice head there so you can drive your hook in, your Texas rig hook. You can go big, wacky rig. You can Nico rig. Maybe you can uh, shaky head this one, Ned rig this one. Just a lot of action, a lot of opportunities for this bait. I'm excited. You can see that tail wiggling. It's going to create a ton of displacement in this, guys. You just, oh, it's so good. Some of these baits are just so wicked and I, I can't get stuck with the Walmart special, guys. I just, I can't. I know I spend, spend more than, we spend more than the average bear should on baits, but I like to do this crazy stuff. All right, last couple things in the box. We've got some Dobbin spinner baits at three eighths. And then we've got, to back them up, some Mega Bass spinner baits in some three eights. Head expand the line in these mega bass. They're a little expensive and I got this IU color, I think. Yep. Three eights. I just really like their spinner baits guys that's except for one thing, if I can get that get it out of the bag. There we go. They lock them in so you can't get them out, which is cool, but Sweet little spinner bait, guys. Comes with a little hook guard, which is nice. And I just really like this egg drop, teardrop looking blade. It's like a crossover willow, Indiana look. And this is just a really light flexed wire. Just one of my favorite spinner baits all time. But the biggest thing I don't like is there's no keeper. I mean, it hasn't been a problem. I know there's spinner baits meant for different things, meant for no trailers, meant for certain types of trailers. But I just prefer most the ones with a nice keeper on it. But I've probably caught the most fish on this spinner bait than any other one. Well, that, uh, that could be a little bit of a debate, but this is up there definitely. Just really nice head. It's really nice, really effective bait. Be careful for the pike though. They really like that one and will chew you up. And then last but not least, the Dobbins. Head expand, been talking about it um, quite a bit. And not many people throw it. And not people have ever heard of it. So that's cool, I really like. We'll open this last one up. All right, 
double willow. I just mid mid range spinner bait, not too expensive, but it comes with an exceptional double keeper, like in that. And then I just really like the head shape of these Dobbins the most out of any spinner bait. It's got that pointed head, definitely gonna come through the cover. It's definitely a more stouter wire. Their half ounce is a little bit bigger, a little bit beefier. Definitely like that one in open water. That's a good big spinner bait. But one of the double back on these three eights because it's nice, got a nice, decent pair of blades. Their swivel is phenomenal. I'll give them major props on that. That is wicked. That great, just great couple different spinner baits, guys. Gotta expand, expand your horizons, check out all these baits, because they're fun. And that's it. I don't think I got anything else in this box. Just got my sticker and I popped my dad a nice shirt, so that's gonna be cool. But if you like this video, guys, this is another unboxing. I love doing these because checking out baits is fun. If you like this, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, let me know which bait you're looking forward to seeing on the water, which baits you're gonna try. I'm excited for this wild gill, that freestyle, and then I know my dad's gonna be punked about this. This is just gonna be baby, baby, big fish catching. All right, like, subscribe, comment, do what you do, and I'll catch you in the next video.